So today is the day we're going to move this aquarium. Isn't that going to be fun? This is a 10 foot long, 500 gallon tank with about a 150 gallon seamless sump under there. And we are going to move this. So that's going to be loads and loads of fun. We're also going to move this guy, which is a 90 gallon cube. And both these are going into my office. So we'll be doing like a time lapse of it, <clears throat> which uh, we'll walk you through it pretty quick. Wish us luck. I mean, it's the, the plastic will definitely give way before the, the tank does, but I'm not, I'm not going to miss it. You, you got to definitely get at it, but you know, you'd be surprised. I mean, sometimes it, it'll like withstand some major beating, and then all of a sudden, just the slightest little ding will just set it off. So it's uh, it's yeah. always one of those. You want to always be as. It, I mean, I'll have to redo all of it, basically. Yeah, There's no salvaging. The lock line is about the only thing I'll be able to salvage. Everything else I'll have to redo. Too, was two ruby red Oscars. I mean, as far as just simple Oscars, but that color on them is incredible. You aren't wanting to get rid of your arowana, are you? No. Okay. Since I lost my damn uh, puffer, Mubu. Yeah. He's now my Star Trek. So that's the datinoid right there, and that's the other thing I was thinking about. For we've got a customer with a big tank. Yeah. That he's wanting to switch his fish out and go with some. Just he wants like. Less fish, bigger stuff. 
yeah. basically. So he's cool. Yeah, that actually would be a peacock bass would be pretty neat for, for him. Yeah. The dadnoid has not, I mean, they're like a foot long, right? They usually get pretty big. Yeah, they're, they're known to get pretty large. So here we are after the move. Every, everything's in place. Uh, let's see if I can give you a sense of the scale of this sucker. Uh, again, it's a 10 foot long tank. Uh, it's 500 gallons, got about 100, 120 gallon sump on it. Although I took one of the water reservoirs away so it's probably a little bit less now well it is a little bit less for sure um, and we kind of converted to remember at the beginning of this uh, it was kind of a community tank had a uh, some ultim angels in there and some other stuff congo tetras <clears throat> uh, zebra barbs just a whole slew of community fish and I haven't really done a predator tank for a long time. And so I kind of wanted to do a predator tank and kind of grow these guys out. See how big I can get them. There's a big Cynodon catfish. <clears throat> There's a little uh, uh, electric blue who is uh, just an amazing little fish. He's small enough to really fit into the mouth of half the fish in here um, but nobody messes with him he's got a bad reputation so nobody messes around datnoids doing well frontosas actually cranking along <clears throat> the uh, baby frontosa not baby but the female uh, I was a little afraid she was gonna get eaten by somebody because she hasn't been with the uh, <clears throat> the big bass or the arowana oh, I'm sorry she was she grew up with the arowana but not the big bass or the Oscars so but no problem so far yeah so these guys are cranking along I'm about to feed them so as soon as I get that ready we'll come back <laughs> 